Hello and welcome to the devotion for Monday, May 30th, entitled, No One Knows. Now, this whole week, we're going to be looking at what Jesus said regarding the end of the age, the coming of the Lord, taking us to be with him, getting us out of this dysfunctional world. And the very thing he starts with here is a statement that can catch us off guard a little bit. It says, but about that day and that hour, no one knows, not the angels in heaven, nor even the Son, speaking of himself, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, he says, where people were eating and drinking and just living life, and then suddenly they were caught unaware. He said, two will be in the field. One will be taken, one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the meal. One would be taken, the other be left. He's talking about the fact that this day is going to become unaware to many people. He goes, but it doesn't have to be unaware. You can know about this. You can be prepared for this. But I am not going to tell you the date. Now, why would he not tell us the date? First reason, and I believe the most important reason, is because it's not about a date. There's not some time set that he's going to return. There is a purpose and a plan, and that is for everyone to come to repentance and to salvation. And he's working that plan, and he says uh, in 1 Peter we read, he's not slow in keeping his promises of returning. He's just patient, not willing that any should perish, but everyone should come to repentance. But the second reason is because when we know a date, we tend to be careless up until the last minute, or we tend to live differently in the first part than the last part, and he didn't want that. He wants us living the same consistently all the way through. So he said, I'm not going to give you a date. I'm not going to tell you when this is happening. I'm telling you live as if it is always about to happen, and your life will be healthier. Let's pray. Father, you've asked us to live as if every day were the last day of our life. You've asked us to prioritize as if this is the only time that I have. You've asked us to love and to care and to honor people as if this were the last day. When we live with that type of purpose, with that type of understanding, with that type of intensity, every day becomes full and rich. God, I thank you. You loved us enough not to tell us a time or a date, but to tell us to live with hope and expectancy. God, Work that plan through us in Jesus' name. Amen. Doesn't matter when. Live as if it's today. I'll see you tomorrow.